Often praised as one of the greatest footballers of all time, Tom Brady is perhaps the best footballer ever to walk the earth. It's no surprise that the QB stands amongst the greatest paid athletes. Evidently, Brady is one of the only two NFL players to win five Super Bowls and the only NFL player to do it with a single franchise. Indeed, his accomplishments soar above all. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Brady gets paid a whopping $30 million a year, making him the highest paid player in the NFL right now. According to the fame, glory, and gorgeous Paola, the QB has a net worth of $250 million. If you think that is a lot of money, get a load of his wife Giselle Buchan, who has a net worth of $400 million. Adding their rich earnings, the couple is worth $650 million and will soon hit the billionaire status if we go by the famous vows, what's his is hers and what's hers is his. The point is, in between being one of the greatest athletes on the planet, Brady also happens to be one of the richest as well. And all that dough has to go somewhere. So if you're curious about how Tom Brady spends his millions, then sit back, relax, and keep watching because this video says it all. Let's hit it off with the good times. Yes, we're talking about travel and luxury. Vacations. When it comes to vacations, Tom Brady is always known to go big. Take a look. The Bahamas. We don't know about you, but we all dream about taking a trip to the Bahamas. And Tom Brady picked the perfect time to do so in November 2017, just as his native Boston stomping grounds were getting freezing, snowing cold. When Brady's family arrived in the Bahamas, Brady didn't just confine himself to chilling in the sun on a hammock. He also played a game of pickup hoops with Michael Jordan of all people. Talk about having one heck of a dream vacation. First class travel to Qatar. We all know that the Middle East is the place to go when you got some dough to spend, and Brady did just that. He took his family to Dahar, Qatar for a family holiday and arrived via a private jet courtesy of Qatar Airways. A highlight of the trip was when the world caught a glimpse of Tom and Giselle riding camels in an Instagram photo. Well, now we know that he doesn't just go big, but rides high as well. While enjoying the holiday, Brady couldn't help but get some work in while there. He attended a charity event from Best Buddies, a nonprofit to help people with mental and physical disabilities. He also visited some troops who were stationed in the country. Blowing off steam in Costa Rica. When the New England Patriots faced off the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl 52, things didn't go as planned for Tom Brady, and they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles 41-33. No matter how many Super Bowls Brady has won in the past, it never feels good to lose the biggest game of the year. So to blow off some much needed steam, he took his family on a vacation to Costa Rica shortly after his Super Bowl loss. He must really love Costa Rica, seeing as he also went there on vacation in 2013. It must be his place of zen. Those are just a few of the destinations the QB has spent his millions on. Let's move on to his homes. Homes, condos, and apartments. Their Brentwood Mansion. Following their big wedding in 2009, Javel Buchan and Tom Brady decided to celebrate the occasion with a big purchase on a big house. Apparently, everything's bigger in Texas, and that includes Tom Brady's bank account. For $11 million, the couple got a 14 square mile Brentwood mansion in Southern California. After spending extra expenses to design the house from scratch, they wound up selling it four years later to Dr. Dre for $40 million. A1 Madison apartment in New York City. In 2014, the power couple bought an apartment room on the 47th floor of New York's One Madison condo building located in the Flatiron District. The room set them back by $11.7 million and they spent $40,000 a month just to rent it out. Judging from their net worth, money like that is basically loose chump change, but they were able to lift the monetary burden of this pad when they decided to dump it for something better. They sold this spot in 2018 for $13.95 million. The Boston Condo Not long after they got married, the couple decided to rent out a condo in Boston, Massachusetts on Beacon Street. They collectively spent $35,000 a month to rent out the place until they decided to sell it in 2014 for $9 million. The 5,311 square foot condo gave the couple access to three bedrooms, three baths, four parking spots in the garage, countless fireplaces, and a gym. That doesn't sound like an insufficient means of living at all. A couple apartments at the 70 Vestry. Tom and Giselle own a spot at the 70 Vestry Luxury Building in New York City. 
Initially, they bought a five-bedroom apartment on the 11th floor for $20 million. But a year afterward, they decided to sell it to buy an even more expensive spot on the 12th floor. It is rumored that the reason for the swap is purely superstitious, as Brady insists on living on a floor number that matches his jersey number. They could also just be looking to move on up for the sake of upgrading, although the new floor apartment is reported to have the same number of floors and bedrooms like the one on the 11th. Home in Massachusetts We've listed plenty of homes that Tom Brady has owned in the past, but as of now, he and his family primarily live in a Brooklyn, Massachusetts mansion that is conveniently just a half hour away from Gillette Stadium, the home of the New England Patriots. This home cost Brady $40 million to buy, while he spent another $4 million to design the house himself. The vast estate includes five bedrooms, a master suite, a wine storage facility, and a library with a balcony overlooking a gym. And finally, let's take a look at some of the hot wheels the QB rolls on. Cars We don't know about you, but we always value a man with a variety of luxury cars. And when it comes to Brady, we hold him at a high value. Take a look at some of his rides. Rolls Royce Ghost Typically, when we have kids, we opt to get a car that's safe, good on gas, and maybe drives a little slower, as opposed to revving up on an ultra-fast death machine. But not Tom Brady. He went the opposite route. Of course, Tom Brady loves his kids, but that's not stopping him from getting a fast car to ride them around in style. So he got the Rolls Royce for $355,600. Judging by some paparazzi pics we've seen of the family in the car, the kids love riding backseat in the Rolls Royce. 2011 Range Rover In the last few years, we have seen Tom Brady and his beloved partner driving around town in this 2011 Land Range Rover, and if we're honest, this whip doesn't look too shabby. Of course, when it costs at least 86 k to buy one of these things, it needs to look superb. The features are worth the price as well, as the car comes equipped with a 14-speaker sound system, a reverse camera, and top-notch navigation. 2015 Ferrari M458T At $230,000, the Ferrari M458T is one of the most expensive cars in the US, and with good reason. This isn't just any old fast car, it can be deadly in the wrong hands. This Ferrari can hit 60 miles per hour in only three seconds. A beauty like that deserves royal driveways. So it usually gets put in the hands of a rich schmuck like Tom Brady, who is part of a rare upper echelon. There are a select few people who have the strength, prowess, and of course, the big bucks to handle a bad boy like this. Audi R8 2009 We don't know about you, but Tom Brady might have an unhealthy obsession with the car model. There's loving a single brand of a car, and then there's Brady, who has bought and collected dozens upon dozens upon dozens of different Audis over the years. Another model Brady has added to his collection was the 2009 Audi R8, which would have run him up for $165,000. We estimate Giselle is struggling to keep her husband's Audi obsession in check. Trying to stop him from buying every Audi in the country must be a challenging task for her. Bugatti Veyron Supersport Brady normally saves most of his dough and therefore doesn't have a reputation for spending huge loads of money unless it's on a house. Still, his most significant and most notorious purchase came from when he bought a Bugatti Veyron Supersport. The car is as expensive as it is fast. As far as speed is concerned, this thing can hit the road at 60 miles per hour within 2.5 seconds max. And when it comes to the price tag, Brady spent $1.7 million to ride this bad boy around town.